Dr. Darren Martin joining me right now. He is CEO and founder of Global Company Cultures Association. Darren, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I'm wonderful. I want to talk about this recent Gallup poll on millennials not being engaged at work, 60% of them looking for new jobs. But it's not just millennials, is it, Darren? It is absolutely not millennials. And they talk in there about zombie employees. We have a freaking zombie apocalypse going on at work. <laughs> I mean, they're, you know, you should, just look at the numbers. When you consider that there's a 15% uh, engagement rate across the globe, 29 roughly in this country. It's a lot of people who are just not liking work and they're just mailing it in. Tell me why. I mean, look, I don't think anybody wakes up very rarely and is just like so excited to go to work, but there's a lot of jobs out there that, you know, nine to five working in a cubicle, the employer doesn't do anything to try to maybe liven up the environment. I could, I could see where that, where that stands. I think that's a big chunk of it, but uh, a lot of people do get excited about going to work if they work at Zappos or if they work at In-N-Out Burger or, you know, the Ritz-Carlton. I mean, there are company environments that people love showing up at. Now, I'm not saying it beats going to the beach, but it certainly is a rewarding and a fulfilling environment that they're in. Right. So here's what I, I think the problem is. Uh, we do everything differently today. We shop different. We, we buy food differently. We order, you know, we date. All that stuff has gone digital, has gone online. And when work shifted from farming to factories, it changed. When it went from factories to, to corporate offices, it changed. The problem is that work, what we define as work hasn't shifted into this new world that we're living in. So, so what do we have to do? If, if there's an employer out there, what... What is a is a workplace culture expert? What advice would you give to employers to try to, you know, take their employees from being zombie employees to being happy employees? So I think it starts with sitting them down and asking them, "Hey, what what makes you miserable at work? What's getting in the way?" And sometimes it's uh, you know poisonous people. Sometimes it's just tedious work with old, outdated equipment, sometimes it's too much bureaucracy. You've got to address all of those things. And then you got to talk about, hey, what would make you excited? What would you really like about coming into work if we were able to do this? And in today's world, we live in a, a beautiful time where flex hours, there's all sorts of you know work from home options. There's a lot that we can do because of the connectivity. And you still got a lot of people out there going, no, it's just not, you know, if they're not sitting here under my nose, then I can't be sure they're doing the right thing. I think people go to work to do a great job. They want to be fulfilled. They want to have some passion about what they're doing. And that's what this whole millennial uh, group is, is raising the flag on, saying it no longer works for us like it did grandpa and dad. You know, to, uh, It's a J-O-B, I just draw a paycheck. They want to do something, spend the bulk of their time, which we really are at work a lot of our time, doing something that counts and something that's fulfilling to them. Talking right now to Dr. Darren Martin, workplace culture expert, CEO and founder of Global Company Cultures Association. I know one thing, Darren, that, that always bothered me is, I, I, you know, if I'm going above and beyond, I want to be treated like I'm going above and beyond. I don't want to be treated like every other worker. I think there, a lot of animosity in the workplace stems from people who aren't pulling their weight and there's no repercussions for them. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're doing, you're going above and beyond and some other schmuck is doing the least amount and you're treated the same. That's going to create a bad environment. 100%. You have got to reward people for the outcomes they're doing. We started rewarding activity a long time ago. You know, managers stand at the front door and see who's the first in and the last to leave. I don't care about that. How much did they get done while they the were there? Yeah, I agree. Hey, you got you got to take your high performers and and reward them accordingly. Yep, hundred percent. Darren, appreciate it. Have a great weekend. You too. Thanks. All right, Dr. Darren Martin, CEO, founder, Global Company Cultures Association. 